It was the first of three meetings that city leaders held to field questions from the public on the city budget. 41 Action News reporter Allie Hoxie was at the meeting this morning. And Allie, what was everyone's main concern? There were two issues that kept popping up, crime and infrastructure. Community members told city leaders they want to see more police officers on the streets, as well as police engaging more with the community. Two-thirds of the $1.6 billion budget will go to the police and fire department. However, the money will go towards supporting wages, salaries, and pension increases. Most people at the meeting supported the majority of the budget going to public safety. They needed raises. They have been so shorted, and we need police officers, but yet, you know, I'm, we were hearing from the mayor, you know, there's not enough money to give, you know, to get more police officers, but yet the crime's going up and up and up and up and up. There was also questions on fixing up sidewalks and streets on Kansas City's east side. However, the city's chairman of finance and budget committee says the budget will help sustain what we already have. City leaders are pushing for people to vote yes on the $800 million GO bond, which will go towards fixing roads, bridges, and sidewalks. Voters will decide on that on April 4th. Allie Hoxie, 41 Action News. Thanks, Allie. You've got two more opportunities to share your thoughts on how the city should dedicate money. A public hearing is taking place next Saturday at the Whitney Library. Then March 4th, you can go to the Southeast Community Center. These hearings will start at 10 o'clock on both dates. The city council makes its final vote on the budget March 23rd.